Um, tonight we're going to look at um, Level Helper Pro 2 with Corona SDK. Um, Bogdan has done some videos which show you how to set up the project for this. They're all geared around um, Xcode and Sprite Kit, and it's slightly different with um, Corona to get it working. It's it's a great tool, but it's not entirely seamless yet. But let's um, let's get into it. So. You load Level Helper and then create a new project, give it a name, testy free, um, supported engine, you're going to select Chrono SDK. Um, then in the schema, we can just, doesn't really matter, we'll choose uh, landscape, click next and uh, save the project somewhere in here. Uh, we're going to select that we use the basic template and at the moment don't untick remove demos. The, the reason being is because um, what's in there we can use to uh, as a reference for, for, for what we're going to do. Let's make this full screen and have a look what's in there now. Um, so we've got a demos folder here then there's the actual um, API for it and then there's this LH2 published. Um, we'll get into those in a minute. But for now let's let's uh, see what's in the demos. So if you see up here you've got a target effectively. If we click on run there um, then it brings us up with the, the demo application. Okay, let's go back and stop that. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create just, we're just going to set up uh, a scene for now, we're not going to do anything to it, we'll do, we'll do stuff to it in, a, in, a, in the next sort of tutorial. Now we're just going to get it so that it loads up um, a scene. So first things first, we're gonna, we're in, well, we've already got an untitled scene here that, that was created when the project I'm going to save that. And it's um, it's going to ask us to save it. Now, what it's actually done is it's set us up into the root folder of the project. Um, this testy free folder here is actually the, the structure that you see here. So I was actually pointing with my hand there. Now, there's, you obviously can't see that. So, yeah, so what we want to do is we want to go into this. Um, and this is where it's a bit different from what Bogdan, Bogdan was doing with the um, with the sprite kit demo. So we're going to create a new folder in here and call it scenes. You can obviously call it whatever you want. Um, and we'll call this main scene. Save that in there. Okay, so once this all updates, you should see that we've got scenes and main scene. There. Okay. Now, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to publish it. Now, what publishing does is if you look at the demos here, um, you'll see you've got a published folder. Um, you've got your standard sort of Lua files that you normally expect. And then here, you've got these JSON um, uh, folders. If you have a look at in there, you can see that what we're actually doing is loading all the information from the um, from the LH file, uh, which is the level helper file. Sorry, I was being a bit vague then. I was just trying to figure something out. Right. So let's close this up. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to publish. Now, what it does first is it says choose the locations where you're going to publish. So we're going to back up to testy free, and we're going to create a new folder, and we'll just call it publish. Okay. So in here is where we're going to publish our scenes. Okay. So we've done that, and there you go. We've got our main scene. I imagine that's not going to be particularly interesting at the moment because it's uh, it hasn't got anything in it. But there's two files that we want to look at now. If we go into the main Lua file, main.lua, we'll see that it's loading my scene, which is this one here. 
Um, now this is the standard sort of composer um, scene structure. Um, but what we're going to do, just to be really easy, is we're going to uh, just copy all of this. Let me go back a bit. Right, what we need, we also need to uh, actually create a Lua file. So let's do that. Now you can see. There we go. And that create that part. Okay, now in main scene, we're going to paste the contents of, of my scene over there. Let me close that down now. And then we're going to just really make sure that you save all of these, make sure that they're saved, otherwise it, uh, it doesn't work. Now, if we go into the, the main.lua file and then change this to main scene, and again, save, make sure it's saved. Um, if we run this, uh, sorry, oh. <laughs> let's get back. If we stop that and then change the target to testy three and then uh, run it, that's our scene. So um, we're now all set up to be able to do stuff with um, with our own scene that we've created. And and just just so that you have a complete understanding, the reason why it came up with that text is because the code that we copied from the mycene.lua had this in there um, so there's some text here and this here so all you do is delete that and then you end up with a completely clean um, scene but as I said we're going to go into that into the next tutorial okay goodbye